Hello, my name is Walter and welcome back to another segment. Uh, today I'm doing um, five years ago today. This is more of a self-reflective statement and I think it's so important for us to grow as people together and you know this is just for me and you know to kind of like um, date things so that I can come back and look at it and see what I was talking about and you know see what my thoughts are at that time or were at that time uh, so yeah this is just mainly for me but also for you guys to know my story a little bit uh, so yeah uh, so yeah five years ago today like not really today but like five years ago I fell in love with a girl uh, I know it's a bit of a mix but because like I know on one hand it was a crush and on the other hand I took it so seriously because like I've never been in love before you know I've been in like puppy love but I knew, I knew it was kind of not real and for me my number one rule is uh, you know I I can technically only date people that I know of it's because of like all the shows and movies I have watched as well and I know it's kind of a stupid rule but also I think it, it plays into that like if I know somebody well enough I think I would like to, to spend my life with them and then you know it's, it's kind of that perfect romance kind of thing you know but what you gonna do uh, so yeah, I met her when I was in Form 3 and uh, in Malaysia we have forms, we don't have grades, you know, we have standards in um, like elementary school. So actually, you know, we uh, we were kids in elementary school together, but I, don't, I didn't really remember her from elementary school because I didn't really hang out with her. Uh, so yeah, let's call her Y. Um, and uh, Y was in my school, but I didn't really know until I reached Form 3. And in Malaysia, we have something called PMR, which is a uh, uh, Form 3 final, actually, you know, to kind of double check, like, if we remember stuff from Form 1 and Form 2. But if you ask me, it's kind of redundant because the most important one was uh, SPM, which is the Form 5 finals to, you know, uh, uh, for you guys, I, I guess it would be like kind of like um, the college prep, you know. Uh, to 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 get you to college if you want to continue to college even uh, so yeah that's that's exams I'm going off topic here uh, but yeah I remember collecting my results for the form three final exams and uh, I had I had seen her there but you know I, I, I did hang out with her some of the other times as well it's just that I, I may have not remembered it or <coughs> things like that and I, I just you know innocently I asked oh you, you're in this guy I didn't I didn't I didn't did remember because you know again I, I, I'm really brilliant and I'm really bad with faces and I'm even worse with names so um, I was like oh yeah I, I, I remember you like because this is more of the the friendly thing and um, I think when we were in Form 4 together, which is the next year after after that, uh, which was in 2016, <coughs> no, sorry, um, no, 20, 2012, sorry, sorry, 2012, um, uh, so yeah, we were uh, hanging out around each other a lot, and then I was talking to her a lot, and one day, uh, you know, we were we were talking on Facebook because Facebook at that time was really popular, and uh, you know, we 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 talked about you know relationships and it's, it's more of the uh, game that we all play with each other like uh, in high school. Like I think uh, it's, it's mostly a Malaysian thing. Like are really just centered to us. Um, so yeah, I think at one point uh, I'm making this long story short, obviously. But uh, yeah, at one point uh, I I did have the chance to uh, tell her that I liked her, but I didn't take the chance. Uh, so yeah, that that's uh, that's my story. Um, I actually confessed to her in. Um, in Form 5 when I was going to graduate, so senior year, um, and uh, I actually, I actually, you know, 
didn't really want to, but I, I just told my friends, and I know I should have told them earlier, but I was, I was scared of ridicule and whatever not, but maybe, you know, if I, if I, if I had this philosophy earlier on, maybe I, I would have told them earlier and got gotten their support at least because I watched this uh, recent video on uh, Facebook which uh, like said like you know a guy would find the right time but he would always be pushing it out but I think I, I had a really good plan is just that you know life happens and shit happens and you know they, what they say is true you know if you if you're not bold and take what you want and you know somebody's gonna come in and swoop in and take what you want so um, so yeah, I was actually planning to tell her, you know, during the Form 4, uh, after Form 4, and, uh, I was actually planning, like, to kind of sit her down and, like, just talk to her and say, you know, we've been, we've been friends for a long time, and I think I've I have feelings for you and you know that what the guy said in Facebook is what was right like you know the girls have to kind of lead us uh, like with the breadcrumbs and say like okay baby I kind of want to see you more whatever uh, and I think that that's so important for a relationship to bloom I think and, you know if you, uh, if you girls have any like guy friends that are really close to you you also, you also have to kind of like have to check with them constantly if he has feelings for you but don't really like do it directly you can do it do it in an indirect way but uh if you if you kind of like him as well maybe you can lead him on you know in, in that relationship kind of way if you really want it but you know choice is still yours but i'm just saying like you know you should tell you should be able to tell the signs and um also, if you want to be, break the patriarchy, really, if you like a guy, just go up to him and tell him he must probably be excited. Or if it's more of the modern guy, he'd be like, oh, why? Though? Like, that's just, you know, guys. And also, I think girls as well. Uh, it's just human insecurity, that's all. Um, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was a little bit of a tangent, but... Um, yeah, I, I, so I confessed her, even though I knew she, she had a boyfriend, like, you know, they got together when it was middle of the year of, uh, for, for actually, so it was tw middle of the year of 2012, and then they continued in uh, senior year, and I, I thought, you know, you know what, I'm gonna graduate anyway, I, I, I think it, it's gone on enough, and I, I don't want to carry this anymore, so I just need to tell her, so I did. And uh, yeah, it was not pretty. Uh, I am not proud of how I did it, nor how I overthink things. Like I was overthinking things, but this one was a real particular case where I just went off the walls. So yeah. Um, I think one of my biggest regrets is not telling her earlier. Uh, so yeah, you can you can definitely say that that is my biggest regrets so and uh you know i did i did try to pursue her further um in you know my college years and whatever but uh you know i i realized that at some point you know i think uh that um um she wasn't as in this as i was because you know, in a relationship, it's always two-way street, and I was always texting her first, and, you know, she would always reply, obviously, but I was getting to a point where I was like, just text me as well, like, you know, her, her thing was more of like, yeah, guys should be the one to come up to me and all that. I mean, she technically did indirectly ask me out for a date, but um, that was it, and I was actually planning a date as well, but... I didn't really get to tell her because I was still thinking about it and I was still analyzing the situation and everything else, so, uh, yeah. Um, yes, there was actually more proof that uh, I, I thought that I, I had loved her. The first indicator was uh, she, she had actually gotten together with the, with the guy already um, and uh, you know she was telling my friend about a dream that she had and you know my friend told me about it and uh, it was really really freaky because uh, it was the same dream I had so uh, like what does this mean like oh, it's 
strange but it's also because it's the same thing either my friend lied to me or you know uh, it was maybe meant to be I, I I don't know like that that's the thing you know you you can't just like uh, like rely on one source but that was really freaky for me so uh, yeah that was one of the things that kind of proved it to me uh, but you know a more solid example which doesn't include a third party explanation is actually I, I did have a dream of her in a wedding dress I know it's pretty stupid of me to think of like marriage so soon but I, I was a hopeless wedding and I think that yes guys can can think of weddings to girls it's, it's not it's not that uncommon anymore but uh, yeah I, I really imagined her in a wedding dress and I and I was so you know, I was so caught up in that. I was like, "Oh, that's that's really beautiful." I I may have put in too much detail in there. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, that's my subconscious mind telling me something. So I took it as a sign that I liked her more. But I just wanted to approach it as best I can. Uh, wow. Well, um, I think. I think for me, it's more on you know be bold, uh, be brave, uh, do what you do what you do what you need to do. If you if you really feel that you know you like the girl, go go up and tell her. Don't be afraid of rejection. I think I was so afraid of rejection, and I knew it was coming anyway. But uh, I don't I don't like for me I I I I am kind of a really competitive guy and don't really like to lose. Uh, but um, this is one of the things that I I said yeah I think I have to lose this one. Um, and also I I do I don't I don't really like to lose friends as well. So technically we we are still friends you know uh, Y and I are still friends. So we 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 don't talk anymore but. You know, it's one of those things like long, like you know, it's l like old friends that don't really talk anymore, and yeah, it's just uh, it's just the past. So, uh, what really upset me was uh, the first point was the fir the confession part when I told her about it. And, uh, she she had used the word stupid, which she, she never used with me before, but. Uh, on the day she did, and I was really insulted because I was like, "The no, that is the word my parents don't use with me. My friends never used it with me. I I never, you know, heard my friends tell me, or if I heard it, it's in a more jokeish way. It's not. It was not meant to hurt me. But in this case, it was meant to hurt me. So, uh, yeah, that was the one point. That was the first point that upset me. The second point that upset me was the the part where I, I had to leave her you know because I was just like yeah this is it's not gonna work out so I was like I have to go on I have to move on I'm so sorry but I think that you know I'm trying my hardest to kind of just make you see me but I think you're going through some stuff and I'm going through a lot of my own stuff and I have my academics to look after and my grades to look after and my, my my like my future to think after I I, I can't like I mean my course is so demanding I'm not like you I'm not smart I'm I'm very average and I'm very stupid so I have to do double work that people have to, can do in one go I'm just more of a real slacker I just like go around like what there's work and then do the work and then understand it and then produce mediocre stuff like I, I agree that my stuff is mediocre like I'm not gonna come up here and say oh no my, my stuff is the best no I, I am really lazy and I'm really stupid so I'm not that I'm not that person uh, and uh, she she replied with well you know I'm not the same girl I was too you know we all grow uh, grow you know bigger like grow up and you know we change and I'm like yeah and uh, the one point she she told me was like we you should stop living in the past because 
the girl you could the girl you knew will never come back and I'm like wow like, I I I wouldn't I would never have known like she would tell me off like that because like I, I'm very much the person who learns from his past you know I am very much the past person I'm like you know we have, we have to learn from our past our history is so much important in our lives you know it affects us you know if we do if we do one single thing that is similar to history history is just like nope motherfucker get back you know get back here and see that you've done this before and that's why i'm just like no i i'm i'm never gonna fall in love uh again this is this is not something i want to do again um you know if if governments are fighting drugs, they should fight love as well because love is a drug. So, that, that, but that's my opinion, and uh, I I shouldn't force my opinion on anybody. So this is just opinions. I'm sorry if you don't agree, but this is why marriages don't work because like you know you can be so much in love that you don't really know what you're doing and get into an institution where you, you don't really know what's going on and you've already spent too much time with this person and you know you you, you kind of know you was wasn't going anywhere but you you were willing to try anyway no just no <clears throat> what is the biggest lesson uh I think it's to be more bold, be more brave, uh, and just speak your mind, I guess, you know, speak my mind more, uh, and uh, one of the things that I, I think I, I learned more is that, you know, the relationships are a two-way street, and I, I, I'm a very compromising guy, if you, if you know me in real life, I'm just like, okay, could do this but I, I want it in a certain way as well I'll try to get it in there but if I can't I'm just like okay this is this is good enough but you know I always want it my way obviously you know we all want it our way but uh, at some point you know you gotta say okay we, we need to find a middle ground and I think for me that is uh, such a good lesson to have learned from that and also I, I kind of learned that um you know relationships are are not just fun it's energy taxing it's emotional taxing it's mind-blowingly taxing like you know your mind is being taken around and your heart is being pulled around and you know you 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 care about someone you know and it's just like you, you're with them with them in your soul so it's like it's tiring to keep on thinking about them and I think that that is the biggest lesson as well I, I got out of it it was just like to to remember it but also to kind of document it so that I, I remember that this is not something I want to look back on this is not something I want to touch again Yes, I actually had a recent contact with her, you know, she had asked me for a favor and I'm more of a key of convenience now, so I guess, you know, I, I pushed that level with her, just the key of convenience. Uh, and I will always be that guy who will help a friend out. I, I, I won't leave you swinging in the wind until November uh, so it's, it's not literal <laughs> it's a metaphor but uh, yeah I, I won't leave you you know hanging I'll come in and say oh, yes you know do you need help if you need help I'm here uh, and I'll help you out so yeah I had recent contact but not so much you know she wanted my help but I helped her and that was it uh, I didn't uh, go on more I didn't try to I didn't even try to extend the conversation. She did. 
I, I was just, you know, uh, RSVPing her back. You know, I, just, uh, I, I am a very professional person. If you need my help on work, I, I will do it 100% of my energy, 110%. My mind will be on it. Uh, I, I will strive to finish it on day one because I don't, I don't really like to drag things out. So. Um, I think, I think I'll leave, I think I'll leave you guys with this, um, love is, you know, love is very subjective, yes, uh, you know, you got crushes, and, you know, you're not really sure how to get there, whatever, uh, but I, I definitely think that this is something where I, I took it a wrong turn and uh, if I could do it again if I could go back in time I, I would actually tell my younger self hey don't be such a dick uh, just tell the girl that you that you love her man just, just go for it and maybe things would have turned out differently maybe it wouldn't I don't know I would never know that's why whenever I watch like Rick and Morty or like these time traveling stuff and also also just like dimension jobs stuff I get kind of sad because I'm just like what if in that other dimension I did get her so it just means that I wasn't brave enough and I was stupid enough to let her go like I mean just like it, it just kind of gets in your mind and it kind of gets in your uh, in your soul uh, and I and I let that affect me for a while, but now I am just like whatever. I don't I don't really care anymore. I I just I just really you know sat myself down that day like recently and uh, when she contacted me and said you know this is just a favor for her. I was gonna do it and then uh, we won't speak again. So yeah, well I do kind of do those like happy new year stuff with her as well and. Uh, just I, I don't I don't know. just like some random Chinese New Year stuff as well because I'm Chinese by the way you guys never know that uh, I am Chinese so Chinese New Year and uh, like I don't know uh, the English New Year like New Year's Eve as well whatever um, so yeah that's about it uh, I I don't, I don't really know what else to, to talk about here. Uh, so yeah guys, that was my first edition of uh, 5 years ago today. I hope you guys aren't too saddened by my sad, sad story. But uh, yeah, I, I hope that the next 5 years ago today would be more happy. Um, I'm hoping it would be on a bigger milestone because we, we, we are growing. Uh, we, are, we are slowly getting up there. Uh, but I, I would I would like to grow a little bit more. I would like to grow a little bit bigger. Uh, I know some of my you know some of my videos don't really do well because you know it's just my own content. And I I really love to do those content. So um, yeah, so that's about it, guys. And I hope you really enjoyed this. And I'll see you in the next episode.